Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm answering a question submitted by a student. I kind of kind of was drawn to this one. It's kind of a fun attempt at uh, making a, a practical question for a parabola. Let's just take a look at it. I think we'll start with a graph. So we have uh, two kind of two ports. They're calling them in the on the ground and here's one of them let's say and here's the other one and then you have water shooting up out of one port and landing in the other port <laughs> and uh let's see ports are 13 feet apart and water peaks at 10, 10 feet above. Okay, so let's, uh, we can do this any number of ways. Let's, I think what I'll do is I'm going to just move the, uh, I'll make this the origin here. So I'll do it this way. So this is the height of the water, and here's the distance from the source. Let's pretend that the water is flowing from left to right. So this would be 13, 0 here, and we'll just make the other port to be set at the origin. Okay, and then the other thing they're telling us is the height of the water at its maximum is going to be 10. So just from symmetry, we know uh, that this is going to be, the vertex is going to be halfway in. So it's going to be 13 over 2. It's going to be that. So we know now the coordinate of the vertex, which is 13 over 2, comma 10. Okay, so now we can write the equation of the parabola. And this can be done any number of ways. Uh, I think I'll just use uh, the uh, intercept form maybe. So y equals x, uh, sorry, because we have the intercepts. On the other hand, we have the vertex. So oh, maybe I should use the vertex form. So let's do the vertex form. So it's a, oops, a times x minus h squared plus k. So we don't know what A is. We'll find that in a minute. But we know that H is 13 halves. And then K is 10. And then we could plug the point in for the vertex and get A. If we do it with the intercept form, let's see. This is a times x minus 0 squared times x minus 13 squared. Yeah. OK. So yeah, I guess we'll do it. So this is going to be a times x times Oops, those don't have squares. Excuse me. Times x minus 13. Yeah, that's a little easier to work with. And uh, 
when x is 3 halves, y is 10. So let's do it this way. So 10 is equal to a times 13 halves times 1 half. So 13 halves, oh, that's not right. 13 halves minus 26 halves. There we go. Times negative so ten, this is going to be ten equals uh, one sixty nine, negative one sixty nine over four times a. So a is going to be. This doesn't turn out to be any easier, does it? 40. It's going to be negative over 169. I'm going to just get on my calculator here and simplify this. It doesn't simplify. Okay, so our answer then is going to be y equals x, uh, sorry, negative 40 over 169 times x times x minus 13. And we'll leave it like that. I guess either way we go, either whether we go vertex form or intercept form, it's going to end up being kind of a messy answer. But that's our answer. Um, so it's kind of a fun problem. Uh, uh, parabolas are really, uh, they show up all in all different places and there are lots of word problems involving parabolas, but most of the, t most of the word problems involve uh, throwing something in the air, shooting something in the air and having it come back down. In this case, it's water, which is kind of nice. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.